Hello and welcome to my quick guide for new players for Winter Tot. In this guide you'll learn how to play a basic game to gain a supply crate. You also get fire making, fletching, and if you've bought a house, construction experience. You must have 50 fire making to enter. So let's jump right into it. You need at least four pieces of warm clothing, and with their Christmas event here, you can get some pretty easily. I'm wearing the anti-Santa set, but as you can see here, there are many, many items that you can use. Easy things include earmuffs, fire staff, rainbow scarf, and feminine gloves. As long as you have four pieces, you'll be fine. The fastest way to get there is through a games necklace. You need any axe, and I suggest a knife, tinderbox, hammer, and a source of food. There is a bank outside if needed. If not, just click the door to enter. There are some crates inside for the supplies that you need. The damage you take scales on your HP level. 10 to 15% of your total HP is done in damage throughout the game. As a new player myself, I recently had some people in my clan chat ask me about this game, and to my surprise, they had never heard of it before watching my videos. That's why I'm making this guide. So there will be a timer in the top left corner showing when the next game is going to start. There are four braziers around the room, along with four places to chop roots. I suggest waiting by the brazier and lighting it at 0% to gain your first 25 points easily. The main goal is to get 500 points for two rolls on items in supply crates. The roots you chop alone will only award 10 points each, but if you fletch them into kindling before you put them in the brazier, they're worth 25 points each. Fixing and relighting the brazier gives 25 points each time you do it. You gain one extra roll on items for every additional 500 points after you reach the first 500. So 500 points only is two rolls, 1000 equals three rolls, and so on. I suggest playing with sounds on for this. When you take damage, you will not stop chopping roots, but it will stop you from fletching and putting your logs or kindling into the fire. Also, this place is not a safe death. You will lose items, pets, and hardcore status if you die here. I've played for over 50 games and still almost die some games from not paying close attention. You'll also need to watch for falling snow throughout the game. It may fall in a 3x3 area and will do high damage if you're under it. However, if it falls on the brazier like this, it will break the brazier and damage you if you're nearby. To fix the brazier, simply click the broken one as long as you have a hammer in your inventory, then to relight it with another click. If the pyromancer is dead like this one is, indicated by this icon, you may run to another brazier. Or if you have Herblore unlocked, you can heal him. I've never done it myself, so I usually move to another spot. Once you are ready to put your roots or kindling into the fire, simply click a lit brazier. I try to get at least a thousand points for a game. World 311 is a good world for higher point gains. World 309 was the only world since Winter Tot was introduced, but recently they added two more worlds with the influx of new players. If you like faster games where you're only going for 500 points, 307 or 309 are fine, but like I said, for higher points with less players, I suggest 311. You do not have to play Winter Tot on these three worlds only. It is possible to solo or grow with a small group of friends on any world. This is easily the best fire making experience in the game and a popular way many people start Iron Man for all the rewards from the supply chests. After I reach a thousand points, and I know there's not enough time to get another 500, I stand in the safe area back here until I receive my crate. If you leave before receiving your crate, you will lose all of your points. There is a pet, the Phoenix, possible from the crate. It has a 1 in 5,000 drop chance per roll. You can also get logs, ores, seeds, herbs, and the pyromancer gear. The pyromancer gear pieces all have a slight bonus to fire making experience and also count as warm clothing. They have a 1 in 150 chance of dropping per roll. When you receive your crate, you'll also get a large experience bonus that scales with your fire making level. So if you have 50 fire making, you'll receive 5000 fire making XP. 
75 fire making awards 7500 XP and so on. I'll have some links below to the wiki for any additional questions you may have regarding Winter Tot, or simply ask me in the comments down below. I hope this guide helped you and wish you all luck in your Winter Tot games. Bye!